Hello everyone, my name is Ron Williams. I'm a wine professional by day, comedian and gamer by night, and I'm not a chef, but I play one on TV. <laughs> um, I don't like my clothes smelling like food, and plus, um, the jacket gives me an air of uh, culinary authority. Who needs culinary school when <laughs> you just go to the restaurant supply store and, you know, drop 20 bucks? Uh, it's machine washable, it's cotton poly blend, um, and they, they, I, this is the kind of short sleeve version. They do long sleeve also. Short sleeve is best for me because if I'm like working dough, kneading things, it's, um, it's a lot easier. Plus it's usually pretty hot in the kitchen. I don't really want to be wearing long sleeves. Um, we made lasagna today. Lasagna alla bolognese, uh, which is the most traditional style of Northern Italian lasagna. Lasagna refers to the shape of the pasta. Sheets of pasta are lasagne, with an E at the end of it. Um, that with ragu alla bolognese and a white sauce called bechamella, um, which is made from butter, flour, and milk with a good dose of uh, freshly grated nutmeg. Uh, you layer that with the pasta, which we made green, we incorporated spinach. So I should probably note, um, this recipe is incredibly time consuming and it isn't necessarily all that difficult to execute. I mean, you, you don't need very advanced culinary techniques, but, um, it is a massive undertaking. It is also incredibly expensive if you, if you do it right and you, and you get, you know, the best ingredients you can, um, just to make the ragu, it's, like four, it was four pounds of meat between the beef, the veal, and the pork. Um, four jars of tomato puree. And um, the bechamel is cheap. Butter and flour and milk are cheap. Uh, but good dose of parmigiana we did. So, yeah, hope you enjoy. I'm going to open some wine and play some video games. And you will very likely see a Let's Play from me another let's play i don't know what we're gonna play but we'll see um very shortly certainly within a week i'm also going through a whole bunch of footage with grandpa ron my grandfather i've actually put uh, out a few videos um also on my instagram uh nils n-i-l-l-s one seven zero one um, about my grandfather's uh, service in the Air Force. And so the reason I actually have these bullets was because um, he was an aerial gunner in the Air Force in the 50s. I believe it was 1952. Um, and he would... Actually, he trained the first time he was up there as a tail gunner on a B-29. They were using B-29s that had been completely stripped except for the armaments. Um, and they were using F-51 Mustangs to attack the B-29s. And they would use gun camera footage. They all, all these guns had cameras, and it would be, obviously it was black and white, but um, they would use the footage to determine, after they analyzed it when you got back from training, a score to see how accurate you were and so um, that fascinates me and so anyway you would be firing from the B-29 and the B-50 where he actually served during the Korean War um, it was 50 caliber bullets these are deactivated by the way um, but yeah I have always found that incredibly cool um, and grandpa was very <laughs> a very interesting man he was a high school and college dropout and well I will uh, I'll include some more footage but um, you'll see in this interview um, that he was able to accomplish quite a bit so look out for that and we will see you next time ciao